All right, the Superman question. So, obviously, I would encourage you to read through all this, explaining all the information. There's some, there's some good stuff that, that pops out here. Um, I'm going to try and underline or highlight the stuff that I thought was really important. The first thing I see is that Superman is flying at a one-third mile above, uh, the, above Metropolis, so he's a third a mile up. And then we get some angles here. we got an angle of depression. We have two angles of depression, actually. And they, they draw that for us here. So we see that this first angle must be the smaller one. And then this second angle must be the larger one. And then we got to figure out what is the question asking. And the question is asking um, how far apart the two accidents are in feet. Okay, that's really important there that that little in feet, we understand that our final answer has to be in feet. Okay, so let's kind of talk about this. They're asking for this distance here between the two accidents. Let's call that X. And so we have to come up with a plan for finding that distance between those two cars. And that in and of itself is not going to be um, directly all that easy. We don't have a formula to just go straight to that answer. But we can get a lot of other information because we have some angles, because we have, um, yeah, we, we have a lot of information that we can, we can get. We know that this is a right triangle, so there's a lot of things we can do. One of the first things I would want to do is actually let's just label everything. So first of all, we know that he's a third a mile above Metropolis. So let's go ahead and just label this as this distance right here. I guess I should have gone all the way down to the ground. Is one third mile. Okay. And since the answer asks for it in feet, or the question asks for it in feet, we're going to convert this to feet. So how many feet are in a mile? Well, um, there's 5,280 feet in one mile. I have a third of a mile, therefore I just do 5,280 times a third. And that equals 1,760 feet. So we may want to go over here and say this is the same thing as 1,760 feet. And it's probably just good to use all of our dimensions in feet since our answer is supposed to be in feet. All right, what else can we label? Well, Again, we're trying to find this distance, and we're not going to be able to find that directly, but we might be able to find this distance here and this total distance. So what I would do is I would, I would call this Y, and I would call this total distance T. And so we know if we could find Y and T, then we should be able to know that, well, you know, T, whatever T is, minus whatever Y is, should give us X. And that's actually kind of how we want to start thinking about this. So T minus y will equal x and we'll come back to this later but if, as long as we have that basic understanding that this total distance minus this distance y should give us the distance between the two cars which we've called x all right let's see well what else do we know well i see two triangles here really and it might be better for us to kind of like we could highlight these and we could um redraw them. So I'm just going to highlight the first triangle that I see. It's the red one. And the other triangle that I see is this green one, which is the big triangle. And so what I would encourage you to do is actually just redraw both of these triangles. So I'm going to redraw the red one first. And let's add in all the information that we know. We know that this distance over here is 1,760 feet, so let's go ahead and add that. And we know that we called this distance down here y. We know that this is a right angle. And if we look over here, we know that this angle to the red triangle is 63 degrees. So I could kind of draw that in. If there's a horizontal line, that's 63 degrees. Well, since this is a horizontal line, these two angles have to add up to 90. So, so 90 minus 63 is 27. So that's got to be 27 degrees. So now we know quite a bit about more about this triangle. We know this angle, we know uh, this length, and we know we're trying to find this length here. Let's also go ahead and draw out the green triangle. And I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger because it is a little bit bigger. And we said that this total distance in here is T. This is still a right angle. This is still 1,760 feet. And we had a horizontal line here with an angle. And this angle, they said, was 48 degrees. 
And again, I got that number right here. See, that's to the green to the green line. Well, if this angle is 48, these two have to add up to 90. So 90 minus 48 is 42. This is 42 degrees. All right, remember, all we're trying to do is find out y, find out t, and then we could just do t minus y, and that'll equal x. So let's find out y. Well, if you think about it, I have an angle. I'm trying to find the opposite side, and I have the adjacent side. So what trig function uses the opposite and the adjacent? That's tangent. So let's go ahead and go to our tangent equation. It's tangent 27 equals the opposite, which we know is y, over the adjacent, which we know is 1,760. All right, well, I'm just trying to solve for y, so I need to get that all by itself. In order to do that, I need to get rid of this 1,760, which is dividing y. So let's just go ahead and multiply both sides by 1,760. And now I know what y is. Now that I have y all by itself, I can go ahead and plug it in my calculator. Remember to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. And when you plug it in, you should get something like this, 896.76. I'm just going to round to two decimals for now. And again, that's feet, because all of our dimensions are in feet. So now we know what y is. Well, we can do the exact same process to figure out what z is, because it's also just a right triangle where we have an angle, we have an opposite, we, or we want the opposite, and we have the adjacent. So let's do it, right? So the tangent of 42 degrees equals the opposite, which is z, over the adjacent, which is 1760. Again, we're going to multiply both sides by 1760 so that the t gets all by itself, or z, or whatever letter you want to use there. I was originally calling it t, but I think my bad handwriting turned it into a z. So we plug this into our calculator, 1760 tangent 42. Remember that uh, we need to have it in degree mode. If your calculator is in radian mode, you're going to get something totally different. But you end up with this equaling 1584.71, and that equals t for the total distance. All right, so we've done the hard part. Now we get to do the really easy part. Remember that we said at the very beginning that t minus y equals x. So I just need to take this number, subtract that number, and I should have my answer. So... When I do that, I get that, remember again, all I did is do t minus y in my calculator. I get x equals 687.95 feet. And that's it. So it's really just like two trig problems in one. It's just two like Sokotoa problems in one. You just gotta recognize that you're not going to be able to find this distance between there until you first find this distance and this total distance. All right, hope that helps. See you guys in the next video.